Hey Drake, I hear you want some merch. It's official, the meet and greet is happening this weekend, Saturday, February 15th at the Buckhead Library in Atlanta and I will be giving away free merch, okay? Free merch to the first uh, few people that show up. Go to naturejab.com slash meet to RSVP. You get the flyer and all the details. I will see any of you there that will be there. Much love and blessings to everybody. <laughs> So I've been doing some pretty big upgrades to my plastic and the fuel reactor behind me here. Come with me so we can see what has been done. So, by a speck of my luck, right as I was getting the shot on this camera to show the plastic being moved down the chamber and feeding into here and falling down here, my motor power supply died. Now, it's 100% my fault. I had this motor and this motor operating off of this one power supply. It was too much for it to handle. Um, and I, the, I, I did that because I wanted those blades spinning in the body and up there, I wanted that motor spinning, of course, as well, but I only had one functioning power supply, so now I broke my last functioning power supply. Now, I don't have any. But anyways, I do have the footage in short form, vertical, so I'll put that on the screen for you to see. Come with me, let's figure out what has been done. But nonetheless, it's working really well. The only issue I'm worried about is this. You see, if plastic builds up here too much of a degree, this valve opening, will not let the plastic fall because they'll kind of just static and stick together. So the idea is the blades up here are going to spin the plastic slow enough to where it can be loaded in and then it's like almost at the edge to be falling down but then by the time before I let it fall down and build up here I close that port of uh, the valve that'll be back there pull the vacuum and then I open this port. The only issue is um, currently I did have these blades spinning really quick and maybe this won't be the issue, but I just have to make sure that we can somehow completely load this chamber as packed as possible without the plastic actually starting to fall at the end here. So if you guys have suggestions, let me know. But this is looking really good. It works quite well. And um, yes, I've been so busy doing this. I'm sorry that it's been like two months since the machine has operated. But this upgrade is worthwhile because this will change the game. Not only to how much plastic we can process a day, but how much fuel can be made per run. The efficiency of everything, it's just going to be brilliant. So. so I have successfully plumbed in this first ball valve here. And this is going to be the ball valve in which plastic that's loaded in up at the top will then feed and fall down into the machine. 